Hi there, good day. This is Captain Bjorn Fernandez once again. And uh, for today's vlog, I'm going to teach you on how to do or do your lineups in your uh, ballast water treatment system. Okay, presently I am in BWTS room. Okay, and disclaimer on this video is that I am using a an intrinsically safe camera. Uh, which I am allowed to bring here on a tanker vessel, okay? So first, let me familiarize you, okay? So, uh, in a VWTS room, so basically we have uh, uh, a couple of things. We have the ballasting, okay? We have uh, the ballasting, of course. We also have stripping, okay? or using a doctor and with that we also need to use the ultraviolet rays and of course uh, with those three uh, three operations we are required to use the UV okay, or the UV rays and uh, additionally uh, on this video we also have the CIP okay but I will cover it up on my next vlog or CIP means it's the cleaning process and also on during ballasting or the ballasting we also have this uh, what we call the back flash okay which I will explain later all right so let's start with the video so first of all okay this is where the suction of your ballast water comes from okay this is where the ballast water comes from all right so first thing is uh, there will be a sub process. Okay, what is a sub process? It's a start up phase. Okay, it is about uh, one and a half minutes or ninety seconds. Okay, for the sub process, the water will come here and this bulb will open. Okay, this bulb is four zero three three five. Okay, this bulb, and there will be a gauge. Okay, which is a which it measures the pressure along the line and then it goes here okay it goes down on this pipe big pipe and then under the CIP it continues right and then there will be a flow meter guys this is what you call the flow meter of course it will measure the flow okay it will be in cubic meter per hour okay so after that, okay, there will be two UV rays, okay, number one, and the other there is number two, okay, two, v, two UV rays, and then it goes up here, and these are the UV lamps, okay, these are the UV lamps that that works, okay, that treats the the ballast water, okay, uh, I mentioned earlier that. During ballasting, of course, it will go through the filter. But uh, what I'm telling you right now is the sub-process. Okay? And that sub-process will take about 90 seconds. And then, and then that water will be discharged into this bulb. Okay? What is this bulb? Okay? It is bulb number 40436. Now, there are two. Okay? One is here. Okay? 40436. And the other one is, of course, from the other UV. Okay? It's the same, 40436. And that bulb, okay, is used only for the sub-process that I mentioned. Meaning that 40436 is the drain bulbs. Okay? That is the drain bulbs. Okay? So, it will lead downside on this small pipe, okay, going to the back flash line. Now let me show you. Going to the back flash line. Okay. All right. So this bulb, okay, this pipe, okay, it goes there on the back flash line. Okay, that is the back flash outlet. All right. Okay. So that's the first one. 
after the sub process or the 1 minute and 30 seconds. Now, let me explain to you the ballast thing. Of course, suction will be there, all right? And this valve will be closed. Okay, this is, uh, uh, this valve is, will be closed if you will do ballasting and open up this valve 2013 okay 20v201-3 this is the ballast inlet and then okay this is the ballast inlet and then it will go through this filter okay do you see the big filter right now this is the big filter and then there's a motor uh, actually Right now, we are uh, maintaining the filter, and this is the filter pump. Okay, it was removed, and we are cleaning it right now. So, I have a permit to do this disclaimer once again. So, this is a filter, Filtrex, okay, Milan from Milan, Italy, and then it goes here on this pipe, and then again, it this valve will be open. Okay, this valve will be open. This is 20132. Valve 20132. Again, there will be a uh, because this is the filter outlet. Okay, and then it goes through this pipe going down once again. Okay, let's follow. And then going to the flow meter. Okay, which measures how much cubic meters per hour is passing on your uh, line. And then it goes through your UV your UV rays or your UV reactor, ultraviolet reactor. Now, the different thing is that uh, on this ballasting, it has the control valve. Control valve is this one, okay? This automatically opens or shuts. So if you start, it starts from 50%, going slowly or gradually to 100, okay? Okay, so that is the four zero. Uh, that is the control valve, valve number two zero one dash eight. Okay, valve number two zero one dash eight. There is only one valve two zero one dash eight. Okay, for both UBs. Remember that. Okay, and then this will be your discharge overboard valve going overboard on top. Okay. So that's how you do it. So that is for the ballasting, okay? And uh, for the operation of the CCR, I am not including this on this video since uh, this is a local presentation on the local side of the BWTS room, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, for, for the last one, it's the deballasting. For the deballasting, okay, it goes from the same pipe, okay, which is your... Okay, from the suction side, from your tank, the lineup will be done on the CCR. And then, okay, it goes through this 201-9, okay, the one that was closed before, okay. Uh, and this will be closed. That is the 201-3. 201-3 is the one going to the filter room. But for the 201-9, no. Because, of course, for the deballasting, you don't need the filter anymore because you have filtered it when you have ballasted. So, for this time, you are deballasting, meaning it will not go through your filter. Okay? So, with that, suction from your tank side or ballast tanks going to this pipe underside, under the CIP. Okay? Again, on the flow meter. And then, going through your UB once again. Okay, I have two UVs right now, number one and number two. And then, again, it goes through this control valve. Control valve number 201-8. And then, it gets through overboard. Okay, that is uh, how you do the ballast thing. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope you learned a lot on this video. Uh, please like, follow, and subscribe on my channel. And uh, for my next vlog, I will show or teach you on how the, the CIP process is done. And of course, on how the 
uh, backflash process okay, is done on our VWPS room. Thank you. Bye.